Well, <laughs> we're having a first. We're having a first on the channel. We're having a visitor, a contact made via YouTube. Hmm. Now, this gentleman hasn't got a, his own YouTube channel, but however, he's signed into YouTube and he subscribed. Uh, and he made contact, uh, blah, blah, Reggie, I don't live very far from you. And I says, well, yeah, you want to come and have a look? You can have a mooch? Fine, he is. So he says, well, I'd like to buy a few bits if you're willing to sell it. So uh, uh, what, I don't know what he's interested in. I don't know what he wants. I don't know what price he's going to pay. Um, but I'm just... Uh, excited to see a fellow Sheddy, <laughs> a fellow, a fellow vintage tool collector, or a, maybe a fellow nuts and bolts freak. Who knows? Is he going to let me film? Uh, what's he going to do? Are we going to make a little film about it? Who knows? But all I know is, oh, I've got to tidy the place up quickly before he comes. I've given myself a couple hours head start. I'm going to put that back to the corner where it is, so at least we can walk around and chat without um, falling over. <laughs> and it's the same question. So what strategy is this gentleman going to take? Or gentleman's... Debbie said he only wants to know where you live so he can come and rob the place. Well, if that's what the gods have in store, well, that's what the gods have in store. I'm less... I'm more generous than that. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he's a genuine person and he has a, a similar interest, do you know? Here's my fingers. Here's my fingers are crossed. Who knows? Who knows what, what's ahead of us? Um, but what, what strategy would you take? Is there something he's here that he's seen? He's going to keep close to his chest, but he wants to buy. He's mad to buy it. Or is it just bits and pieces? Uh, is he going to come along uh, with an amount of money? Well, for argument's sake, let's let's say he's got a hundred quid. Is he going to come and have an overall look and think, well, I'm going to spend my hundred quid on something and then go away, or I'm going to spend my hundred quid on something and then. Uh, possibly come back later because I might be able to, to do something for his collection. Um, does he come along and think he's going to get a bargain? Uh, what's a fair price? Do you know, I hate negotiating. This is my price. I want this price for this much. You want it or you don't want it? I hate being knocked down. Well, I'll give you, you know, I'll give you a little less for it. No, you'll give me my price or you'll... You'll say, thank you very much. I'll move on. I'm thinking of doing... I'm thinking of doing... Right, I will look at an item. Let's... We'll look at an item and I'll suggest a price. If if that's what he's interested in. And then, yay or nay, I'm going to ask him the next thing that he might be interested in. I'd let him open up with the price first. What price would he be willing to pay for it if he wanted it? Or uh, how do you do it? Or do you, you know, I tend to, my strategies, first of all, I don't negotiate. If you want that price and it's good enough for me, I'm having it. And that's the end of that. Um, or, or do I sometimes overpay for something? If I come here and I think, oh yeah, this is a place I want to visit again. Um, so to start a, a friendship up. I sometimes buy a whole load of toots that I don't want and I burn my money. But I know it's a good place to come and get what I want later. Because, you know, the more you buy, the cheaper, the more friendlier, the better buys you get, isn't it? Now, this is my very first experience of even considering, even considering selling something. But I've got to sell some stuff to raise money to buy other stuff. <laughs> and there's some stuff I've bought. Argument's sake. I'm not an oil can collector. Somebody, somebody is an oil can collector there and is screaming out for these somewhere. It's not my cup of tea. So the money for that, I did this for a, I was searching on the internet and caught, you know, as you do, you know, 
you got to buy 10 to find one, haven't you? So I bought a load and and now I've got them. Um, I'd, I'd let things like that go or whatever. I don't know. I'm, let's see how the conversation goes. How do you first approach? You get hold of his hand and squeeze it as hard as you can and give it a good shake and look him straight in the eye <laughs> and terrify the life out of him. How do you do this? How do you approach it? What's your strategy? Um, I'm just... Do you sometimes feel you're... I, I'm the only person that I know personally that is really, really enthused about taps and dies and nuts and bolts. Everybody is polite. Oh, yeah, Reggie, that's great, Reggie, yeah. But I'm just... I'm, I, I'm happy to see somebody else that might be interested in this sort of a thing and, and we might talk about a, a particular manufacturer, um, Thomas Chatwin, Birmingham. There's quite a few things and tools that are made in Birmingham and I tell him what I know and he'd tell me something new that I don't know. That sort of a, you know... <laughs> anyway, this is a completely, completely brand new experience. Making contact via YouTube. Um, so I don't know. Uh, obviously, I'm going to let you know. And yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Do you think it's fun? <laughs> I don't know. Or do I have to, do I have to open... Uh, here's a funny thing that I thought of. Do I open the conversation? Do I... Do I... Here, look. Shall I completely... Here's a funny thing that I thought about. When you open your... When you first introduce yourself, do you open the conversation by... Come on, open... Uh, by uh, simply saying, do you want to see the size of my screwdriver? <laughs> I've got a bigger screwdriver than you've got. I don't know. How am I going to handle this? Wow, it's going to be interesting. I'm so, uh, so uh, this is something new, another sort of a little new step in life, you know, a new, a new adventure. And if this goes well... Do I invite more YouTubers? Would more YouTubers want to come and have a look and a mooch and a swap and a and a trade or a sell something, buy something? I've got something you might be interested in, Reggie. Am, am I opening a new can of worms for me to buy? Am I starting a new new supplier? Maybe he's got stuff that I want. Who knows? Who knows? It's going to be very interesting.